Yes, my dudes. I'm Alex, and thanks for checking out another video. This week, I've got another Q&A for you. And again, these answers have been taken straight from questions that were asked over on my Instagram account. So if you want your question answered, you can find me at, at @drumhubtuition and just post your question into my story on a Monday. I hope you get something from these answers and out to the people who sent in the questions. Here we go, my dudes. Yes, yes. All right, next question's been sent in by my dude Anish Pixtel. Apologies if I mispronounce anybody's names. And Anish has asked, I can't play fast enough and I don't know what to do to improve. Are there any exercises or techniques to learn? So it's a good question. And this is gonna vary quite a lot depending on whereabouts you're at with your playing and what it is exactly that you're working on. But there's two things I'd recommend. So the first thing is if it's a technique thing you're working on or a particular technique, I would just slow it right down to make sure that each individual motion of that technique is feeling comfortable before you speed it up again because by going really slow, this is where you're actually gonna build that muscle memory that's gonna make it a lot easier when you speed it up and play it faster. The second thing I'd recommend is if you're working on just generally playing faster or maybe getting faster with a particular pattern or a rudiment, I would try and get really specific and try and start to track your progress. So. Let's say, for example, you're working on paradiddles, and at the moment, I'm just gonna get a metronome up quick. Let's say at the moment, your paradiddles are feeling comfortable at 120 BPM. So that would sound like this. But let's say when you get to 130 BPM, that's where it starts to get a bit sloppy. and you can't quite hold it there. And that's fine, but what I'd then try and do is start to push up your paradiddles in smaller steps every time you practice. So maybe the next time you practice, you could push it up from 120 to 122 BPM. So just a two BPM jump. And just work on holding it there. Maybe the next time you practice, you might push it up from 122 to 123 or 124 and by doing this over a longer period of time, you're gonna to start to see some real progress in your speed. And you might already be working on this stuff and you, you probably are getting faster if you're doing it already, but now by actually writing this stuff down and tracking your exact BPM, it's gonna make it really clear for you to actually see your progress. Now this stuff isn't gonna happen overnight. It does take a long time to push up the speed on something, but I guarantee that if you start to do this for a few weeks, a few months, a few years, you're gonna to start to see some real progress and then that progress will become motivation to start to push yourself further. So of course, Anish, if you wanna get deeper on this stuff, just give me a shout and we can book a Skype lesson. But thanks for sending in your question. Let me know how you get on with your progress. See you later, my dude. Yes, yes, all right, next question in from my dude, Seb Perello. And Seb has asked, what's your go-to fill? And this one is less of a fill and more of a concept or just an idea. And all it is, is literally right, left, left. So I play right, left, left all the time, but what I'll do is I'll play a bass drum straight after it, so it becomes a group of four, so you get like. And then what you can do is start to add more singles to the front of that. So now if I play right, left, right, left, left kick. At the moment, I'm accenting the right hand, but of course you could play it however you want to. And then if I added another set of singles onto the front, you'd get right, left, right, left, right, left, left kick. Now, this little idea works really nicely in all subdivisions, and you can also then start to incorporate different ideas to fill in the space to make it an overall phrase. So let's start off by, let's maybe play some ideas in 16th note triplets. So I'll play like a 16th note groove into a 16th note triplet fill. And I'll try to just incorporate some of those right, left, left kick ideas in there. Okay, same idea but in 30 second notes.
So there's just so much that you can do with it, man. So just get creative, start to fill in the space, combine subdivisions, experiment with accents. Let me know how you get on with the chop, man. Thanks for sending in your question, Seb. See you in a bit, my dudes. I hope you got something from that. And again, if you want your question answered, you can hit me up on Instagram at, at drumhubtuition. Out to all the legends who've sent one in so far. If you're digging the videos, hit the button to join the Wednesday crew, man, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.